Hey everybody, welcome to Heat My Shorts. I hope you're all doing well today. It's Tincture Thursday today. Happy Tincture Thursday. I've got Tink Finger from Goot Juice Hot Sauce and Wands Revenge from James J. I'm gonna mix these two together. I know for sure that I've already mixed these two together, but they were next up and I didn't even bother to look further than to try to find something I haven't mixed together. I'm just gonna mix them together again. This tink finger is quite low. It's quite empty and it's quite concentrated. It's sinister for sure. This one, I think this one already had quite a quite a hot burn to it as well, quite an intense burn. This one was a mix, yeah, this one was a mix of super hot peppers and coffee. And I can't remember if it was rum or not, what he used for a carrier liquid on this one. But anyways, and actually, before I even get into these, I'm gonna, I wanna talk about something quickly. Um, just something that's bugging me. There's no real reason to mention this other than, well, it's gonna affect things. But, well, I know I mentioned, I think it was on a garden tour recently, that I had some of my peppers nibbled by a critter. Well, the critter returned. Critter ate maybe not eight, uh, nibbled almost every single tomato in my yard. There's a, there's a handful left of unripe cherry tomatoes, a couple of those Romas, but most of them are garbage because somebody has helped themselves. Um, they've also created a nest in a cupboard inside. I think I may have mentioned this, but ate most of my tomatoes and ate nibbled almost every cherry bomb pepper as well because well they look like tomatoes but hopefully got a little bit of a burn from those at least but that was actually two days ago last night it was back a couple more nibbles and it's also been eating the sunflower heads and that's how i know that it's been back because a couple more sunflower heads have been nibbled i'm very upset about this i worked at that garden you know not all day every day but I put a lot of hours into that garden and I didn't get to eat very many of those tomatoes maybe three or four um, but apparently it's a huge problem in the neighborhood right now I guess another neighbor had the exact same thing happen every single tomato she lost every single tomato uh, one other person that has a kitty the kitty has caught I think they said 12 or 13 rats that's terrible. That's way too many. We gotta do something about that. I, got, I have a couple of snap traps around the house and a bucket of water with a diving board and a lid with peanut butter floating in the water. I don't know, it's just kind of my homemade trap. And then I bought a couple snap traps yesterday and hot glued a kibble to the tongue of one of the snap traps. See how that works. So far, nothing. Anyways, <clears throat> I also one more quick thing, sort of quick. When I was cleaning up the nest, sweeping up, uh, there was a, a nest made of fiberglass and they made a real mess of it. And I breathed some of that dust in and I still have a sore throat from that. I hope I'm not getting sick from it. I definitely breathed in some sawdust and some <laughs> rat mess. I'm pretty upset about that too. I hope I don't get sick from that. I don't get sick very often. Anyways, Maybe I can scare away whatever that sickness is, whatever that sore throat is with this stuff. I am going to go light on this stuff like I have been doing, although I should be pushing myself because I haven't been eating the peppers as well and the peppers are catching up to me. As in, I need to eat peppers because there's a few ripe. <laughs> How much am I going to do here? I don't know. I Not a squeeze, like a very... <laughs> We'll let the bubbles 
settle in that and see what that looks like. It's going to be a smaller pull today for sure. Same with this one. Same with the coffee one. That's about good. That's more than enough. That's all I would like to do today. Still a few bubbles in there, but you know what? This is going to light me up. These two together, this is going to light me up. I know it is. Because my tolerance is down. And these are hot. I'm going to put them on the garden bed down here. Don't you even look at those, Maggie. <laughs> I, saw her. I saw her look as soon as I put something down. So, this is Tink Finger. And this is Juan's Revenge. I'm going to mix them together. And this is going to hurt. <laughs> Happy Tincture Thursday. Do some tincture, mix them together. Get your tolerance back up. Heat my shorts. Okay, I'm gonna put these back in the bottles. That is very pepper forward. It's kind of ramping up quickly. My gums are already throbbing. Very pepper forward, even though I did quite a bit mo more of the Wands Revenge than of the Tank Finger. The Tank Finger is still overpowering that coffee flavor. I can feel it down in my stomach already. Chest, stomach, throat, roof of the mouth, gums, tongue, all around. Wow. Pepper flavor. Very little coffee flavor, but it is there. That's hot. I knew that it was going to be hot, even doing a smaller amount but it's hotter than I thought it was going to be. Um, it's actually brighter than I thought it would be up there. <laughs> For a flavor rating? Probably give that a 7 out of 10. Very strong, concentrated pepper flavor. Very small hint of coffee. That pepper flavor overpowered the coffee. <laughs> I was going to say everything else, but that doesn't leave much. My heat, I'm at a 6 out of 10. I've already told you where it was burning. I'm not going to tell you again. I just about did. My gums are absolutely throbbing. This, mm, this is a good combination. Although, I was hoping for more coffee flavor. If this wasn't as evaporated and concentrated, I probably would have well, definitely tasted more of that coffee. I actually even considered using a fresh bottle for this video, just because this stuff's wild. <laughs> wild. I'm salivating quite a bit. But... I figure I'll open up the fresh bottle on a Tincture Tuesday video, you know? I just didn't feel right about removing the seal and then just immediately mixing it with something else. I don't know. That's just me. <laughs> or maybe that's not just me. Maybe that is a courtesy thing. I don't know. I try. I try to be courteous. I try to be considerate of the products and of everything, really. Burns definitely leveled off. Maybe even back down to 5 out of 10 now? Yeah, I think I could say that. I mean, I did say it, but I think I could confidently say that. Gums are still throbbing. It's still burning everywhere, but it's just kind of a little bit... A little bit less. Maybe because I just kind of got used to it, I don't know. But anyways, I think we should have a hangout with Maggie. She's being so cute down there. Um, and I guess I'll put these right there again. Let's go see Maggie. There we are. 
There she is. There's a little dog. Oh yeah, and you might even be able to tell we're missing a tomato plant now. I just pulled it out of the ground because there was like two tomatoes left and they were green and I knew they would just get eaten right away anyway, so no more tomato plant. <laughs> the cherry tomato is still there, but there's not very many tomatoes left on it. What do you think, Maggie? Hey, are you inviting rats over? Hey, are you giving away our tomatoes? <clears throat> she would. She would. She would tell them that it's totally okay. Daddy wouldn't mind. Daddy's so nice. He would share. And that's that. <laughs> that's not inaccurate, but I wouldn't give my entire garden away to a rat. <laughs> but I would give to the needy. Absolutely. Just not a rat. <laughs> Just not a rat, Maggie. Stop inviting your rat friends over, please. You're so cute. Anyways, we'll go hang up this camera. This was a lot less gnarly than I thought it was going to be. I did have a pretty spicy bagel for breakfast. Maybe that's what helped me out. I mean, I'm sure it did help. <laughs> uh, I think that's about it. I think we're about done here. Little bug, little fly. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you on the next one. This has been Heat My Shorts with Maggie and Steve. Happy Tincture Thursday. Juan's Revenge and Tinkfinger. I love you all. Bye-bye.